Samsung S24 Ultra is here, the Samsung S23 Ultra is here, and you probably are not living on the same planet if you didn't hear already about what people are saying about the display. First things first, when the displays are off, well, yeah, the S24 Ultra really has less reflections. And I've shown this also on my other video, this really looks stunning, guys. Now, you can also check my unboxing video. This is absolutely the reality, but the second thing that really strikes someone like me, for example, is, uh, well, you can, you can hopefully see this. Let me show you guys. Now I'm gonna go inside to the settings. Let me go inside the settings. I'm gonna choose a display and I'm gonna go display here again. So, even from the calibration screen, you can see that the vivid mode on the S23 Ultra is really vivid and this one here is not. Um, even weirder, when you go to natural light, from natural to vivid, there's almost nothing happening. See here, guys, from natural right to vivid, yeah, you can just see really how the colors pop. And we're used to, to have one of the best, if not the best displays in our Samsung phones, because why, of course, Samsung makes those displays. Luckily, there seems to be a workaround, and I'm gonna show this to you in 15 seconds, but take a look, guys, that's a serious thing. People are posting things like ultra washed out colors, and 428 replies, people are moving from S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra. The screen is definitely not as vivid. Some people think that that's a bug, and they think that Samsung is gonna fix it. Some people think it's because the new coding of the Gorilla Armor glass is just like this. It kind of like kills off the colors. Some people contacted even Samsung. Samsung connected to their phone and said, listen, hey, everything is correct. Now, luckily again, you can fix this. It's not ideal. Let me show you how. For first things first, guys, let's just go inside the settings. So inside the settings, display, display, all right? And even, even here, guys, pay attention. Even here, you can see how muted it is. The moment we are here, guys, the easy fix is just turn the eye comfort shield. The moment you turn the eye comfort shield, right, you don't even have to turn the adaptive color tone. The moment you do this, guys, boom, you're gonna get something very similar. So right now, I'm just gonna show you some of the examples that I have here. If you do this, you'll end up in having vivid colors. Like the colors are 99% the same that I have on my S23 Ultra. I'm just showing you some more examples as you can see really how it works. Now, why is this not a good solution? Because first, the eye comfort is important. I like it. This really helps with the eye strain. It really eliminates or try to reduces the blue light, which is actually not so good for our health. And if you kill these guys, then yeah, we end up in having these colors, which, which are really awful. Those are not the Samsung Vivid colors. So I really hope this is definitely a bug. If that's a bug, then I can tell you I'm really disappointed. If that's not a bug, well, I cannot understand how this can be a feature. Like, why should I go and kill my eye comfort shield to just get a vivid color, but then also expose my lights to blue light? This doesn't make any sense. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. And don't forget to sub for the channel for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching VSD over and bye.